you on this beautiful sunny Wednesday morning here. I don't know how it's the weather where you are, but here it's really beautiful and very sunny. So I'm hoping I need to pop up to the high street later on. So um, I'm hoping to, I'm, I'm, I'm going to go for a nice walk after the live. So how are you doing? Do let me know. Where is, how's the weather where you are? I love our little weather report. It's like first thing in the morning, all of you telling me how's the weather where you are and not just around uh UK but I guess around the world as well it's really it's really intriguing right today you are we, we are in <laughs> I, I love these so the, we, we are in for like I'm in for a treat <laughs> because I love 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 doing these this Russian spiral was the first one I made many many years ago and somewhat it's like it's the easiest one to do and it's really really close to my heart I you know, I, I keep going back and doing different ones. And I, I have got a couple of them upstairs as well, but I'll be over time. i got a silver one, but I wear quite a lot. And um, we're going to, I made up new colors. And, you know, I can't just have one or two colors. I have to have like a whole array of colors. So we got 12 colors. <laughs> I got 12 colors for you. So I'm going to turn you down and show you just in a second. Like, let me just... Let me just get into, there we go. No, I don't want to participate in any surveys. It just came up like, would you like, oh, I was just trying to turn on the comments. Would you like to participate in any surveys? Nope, no, don't want to do any any surveys whatsoever. Not right now. I haven't got time. Right, okay. So I'm very quickly going to take you to the website. Simon has put us together a really good offer. So I am so excited about that one because if you love colors as much as I do, I, <laughs> I can never just have one or two colors. I have to have them all. He's given us a beautiful bundle. Right, let's pop over to the website and I'm going to turn you down and I'm going to show you the samples through the camera. Right, there we go. Here we go. So by now, you know the drill. You're going to go on totallybeads.co.uk. You're going to, let's just go on the main page. Let's just come back here. By the way, Suplon, we are having an offer on there. Buy any 12 and get 15% off. So do you have a look on that one. We restock the colors, what we have now. So I'm going to go into video tutorial. So you can go in either here click by clicking this button, or you can go in here and find video tutorials there. Now you're going to scroll down. There is hundreds of tutorials for all sorts of different techniques. Natalie was doing this beautiful pendants on Friday. Today we are doing the Russian no, not Friday, Monday, sorry. <laughs> it's Wednesday today. You know, in school holidays, I never know what day it is, like, or what, what week it is, or what, what structure or date. But um, you, you know me, you, you excuse me. So we do have got 12 different colorways. We got 10, um, 10 colors, and we got a couple of premium colors as well. The premium colors, they are because they are using um, treasure beads or they're using... Um, three millimeter bugle beads, which are a little bit more expensive. So we call them premium colors. There is, this is the black diamond and the purple one. And the rest of them are all six pan 50. Now, don't forget this. And I'm just going to pop into the Tanzanite. It doesn't matter which color I go into, but don't forget this will make you either two bracelets or will make you a necklace. You can add thread and needle to it. Now, what I've been talking to Simon about it, like if you really like all the colors, like if you really, really want all the colors, if you like me, do you have to have every single color under the sun? Then go for the 10 color bundle. And he's given us an amazing 30% off. So to make 20 bracelets, instead of 60 pound, it's gonna be 45 pounds today, which is two pound. 25 to band 25 a, a bracelet i have to do that math really really quickly but you know me it's too early to do math so um two band 25 a bracelet i think that's just um that's just amazing now the <clears throat> other thing what um be added into onto this bundle if you did want to add the two premium colors you can add it on as an extra or add super long threads of like mixes or add um to premium color super long as well for the thread so all your options you, you can have a look like you know you, you I, I, you can have go and have a look but do check out the bundle because it's worth it to make 
20 bracelets, two pen 25 each. Right, and let me quickly just have a say hello to you all. And I'm gonna <clears throat> go down onto the table and I'm gonna show you the colors. And you know, you can be, I can demo with any color you like. Good morning, Lucy, Charlotte, Joy, Jen. Um, very sunny, Western Supermare, she's saying. Good morning, Joe. Lovely sunshine here in Dagenham. I think it's pretty much all over the UK today. Good morning, Alicia. Good morning, Judy. Sunny in Livingston, she says. Gwen saying sun here from in Leicester. Um, good morning, Lisa saying um, I have missed your tutorials, Kitty. Um, and a good morning, you lovely beaters. Oh, I'm, 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 I'm glad you could join us today. Good morning, Bethan. Good morning, Camille. Blue skies where she is. Good morning, Annie, Charlotte, Robin, Lorna. Carol, lovely sunny in Brixton, she says. Elaine, Sharon, sunny Bury, Manchester, near Manchester. Good morning, Christine. Good morning. Oh, she's saying Swansea, uh, sunny in Swansea. Good morning, Jitty. Carrie says, oh, hello, everyone from San Diego, California. So hello back to you. What time is in San Diego at the moment? Like it's a unit the other side. So that's you are like, what, 2 a.m. in the morning? Um, so welcome to our stream. We do have Monday, Wednesday and Friday, 10 a.m. We do all sorts of different projects. Um, good morning, Francis. There's a very sunny Perth. More, morning, Lucy. Oh, Lucy's saying, oh my goodness, I want the big bundle, I want it, I want it. Well, you're not going to be like, you know, there is so many colors in there, you're not going to be disappointed. them. And I'm going to show you they're all really, really beautiful. Good morning, Sue, and L Lucy popped a link in there for us. Good morning, Jean, Ruth. Oh, Lucy's saying she's got extra buttons today, Facebook change stuff. Yeah, I know they changed it like last week, but um, I'm still getting used to it. Um... Good morning, Sheila, Leanne, Esha, think Sunny Preston, Sue. Good morning, Mina. Good morning, Doris. Nice to see you, Doris, here. Morning, Natalie. She says bright, uh, bright again today. So she, Natalie's near Manchester as well. Morning, Wendy, a sunny Felix, though. What was the amazing looking necklace behind you on the tree? I'll show you at the end of the stream. Um, I'll, I'll get you out. It was one of my pieces I've done years and years and years ago. Um, about 15 years ago. Good morning, Rachel. Sunny in South Yorkshire. Good morning, Pamela. Elaine, I'm trying to get to everybody. Sharon, I don't want to miss anybody. Oh, Kerry Singh, 1.57 a.m. at the moment. Good morning, Patricia. That's really early. So are you... Like, I don't know, I at the moment, because I, I like in the summer, I don't sleep like very well. Um, I do like wake up like 2 a.m. or like 3 a.m. And then I have like a couple of hours like reading or doing something. Then I go back to sleep. Morning from Sunny Harlow, Linda is saying. Lindsay, good morning. Oh, very hot weather, I can't sleep. Oh, what can, I love hot weather. So can you send off, like just FedEx us some, just put some in a box <laughs> and send it to us. Good morning, Julie. Good morning from Sunny Shropshire. And good morning, Lizzie. Like, there's so many of this here. Um, looking at the Seplon, but I can't remember what the difference between A, double I, and D. So... Double A is a thinner one and the D is the thicker one. I mainly use D. There is only a few different, like when I'm working with size 15s and I have to go through the same 15 many times, that's when I would use double A. But majority of the time, I would say 95% of the time, I'm using D. And to tell the difference between them, let me just get my tray out and show you. So the D is either ha either has no marking on it whatsoever, so it's just like a clear one inside, or it has a little red dot. Can you see that red dot? So that's a D. And the double A, and let me just grab this one, my other my double A tray out. Double A will have a blue. Can you see that little blue line in the middle? I should not show it on a blue thread, so I'll show it on a red one so it shows up better. So here you can see on a red one that little blue line in the middle. So that's why you're looking at that is double A. It's just a thinner thread. But D, I use D all the time. Like, well, I'm just going to put this on the floor. 
because if I try to put it back on my trolley, um, I know I'm gonna like it's gonna go everywhere. I dropped I dropped this tray yesterday. It was so nice to organize, and I dropped it, <laughs> and they're like rolling everywhere in the room. Right. Okay. So I'm um, gonna go down to the table. Let me just zoom on this. There we go. I'm just get this microphone out of the way. Right. So we have got. Let's zoom in a bit of little bit more we have got 12 different colors now i haven't finished making up this beautiful nebula color so this is the 10 color what you would get in a big bundle as well and i put them out and you can tell me which color you like the most and we will do a little snail race down um down the table and then i'll demo with the color whichever you like the most um so this is this is what's in the bundle you got beautiful blues golds you got a teal and you got an aqua as well now you know me i like my teals and aquas um you got a this is a tanzanite color so this one is like a grayish purple i do love this color so much because it goes with so many different things you got you got like a somewhat like a charcoal color you got pink you got a beautiful mauve you have got a beautiful like a um clear lined one more like sort of i would i would say between like white and clear but this is again beautiful for summer wear as well your aqua and you got this i love this colorway the um, it's a brown iris with a slightly lighter and matte seed beads so i did kind of have different finishes in here the some of them is silver lined some of them is matte or shiny um i sort of try to give you a mixture <laughs> right okay so i'm going to pop them down to the table i'm going to zoom out a little bit and then we can have our little snail rest and i know you're already saying the colors um you want me to remember. oh and the two um let me just bring this up so this is the two premium colors we got the black diamond and we got the purple they are beautiful beautiful colors the black diamond is so great because it's that sort of color which is goes with everything so it's not too brown it's not too beige it's not too cold it's not too, it's, it's the goldilocks color <laughs> if i can say that the goldilocks color is just right right i'm just going to pop them down here and then we can do i'm going to zoom out a tiny bit and we can do a little bit of snail race for them. I love our snail races when we do them. Because I, I obviously, I've got a favorite, but like, I want to demo with the one what you like the most. And I, I can see you all putting the colors in there. Actually, is it better if I open it up? Yes, but then, then no, because then the thing is going to stick together, the magnetics. I'm just going to end up in a bit of a bit of a mess, right? And I'm going to put this right at the end. I need to finish that one today. Right, okay, so I'm going to go back and have a look. Um, oh, just when we order, what do we normally get on thread? Is D what you're getting normally? That's what we put in there. Um, Pauline is saying hi, Pauline. Right, pink today. Camille is saying so. Pink is coming down. Aqua, please. Aqua is coming down. Pink one, Sheila is saying. Oh, the pink is beautiful. Pink lilac. Susan is saying. Salmon pink, please. I haven't got a salmon pink, lovely. I got a pink. It's a little bit salmon. No, no, not really. But it, it, yeah, like I'll, I'll do the pink. Move. <laughs> Love them all. In the basket it goes. Oh bless you. Pony saying pink. Oh, the pink is looks like a pink and mauve this morning. The good thing about the bundle, if you get the bundle, what you can actually do is to mix two colors together. So, for example, and I'm just going to pick these two up. So, they're both in a bundle. So, I could do a bracelet this color. I could do a bracelet this color. And then I could do a bracelet with using the three millimeter bugles from this one and using the treasures from this one. So, giving you that charcoal -y 
lines on your clear one so that's that's the fantastic thing about getting the bundle because you're getting it all can we add needle in the bundle um i think when you say thread and needle it it, it adds the needle in as well good morning lexi elaine is saying aqua mauve lona is saying another one for the mauve we got one for the black diamond from lisa Rachel is saying, I like aqua, black diamond, Bethany is saying, pink, 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 Lucy is saying, mauve, pink and mauve, crystal, and he's saying, mauve, I thought, I would have thought the pink, black diamonds, black diamond is coming, I love black diamond, red, me and one got a red, <laughs> so, could make up red one, <laughs> aqua, saying, Gwen, Pink, please, Jitty saying. Oh, this is very purple, Sue saying. Pink for girls. Wendy saying pink. Anastasia, do you mean Tanzanite? <laughs> I'm sorry, Carrie, I don't, I don't know which color do you mean by that one. Goldilocks. Is there 12 colors so there is 10 colors in a bundle and we got two premium colors so this one and this one they are two premium colors they cost slightly more than the rest of them because the the beads themselves cost more as well tanzanite elaine elaine is saying the pink the pink is one because if i pull it one more it's gonna fall off so we're gonna do the pink but it was pretty pink again uh, Kristen saying black diamond Can I have a small demo on using threads of different kinds in size threads? I have showed you just the threads, um, not like just like a couple of minutes ago. So do you, once I finished, you can go back. I showed you the double A and the D. You can't see the difference. You kind of can feel the difference a little bit because the D is a little bit more sturdier, but you can't see the difference. We had aqua, we had more pink. So definitely pink, definitely, definitely gone. Um, so you think I really need to see which beat to go in when I step in the first round. Yeah, I will show you just right in a second. We're going to get into the demo. So yes, stands the night. She's saying um, pink. I think pink one move. Oh, and just saying morning forgot the time. <laughs> I forget the day. <laughs> I forget the day most of the time. Like, let me just get these beauties out of the way. I'm going to grab those beads out, thread a needle, and we're going to get started. I love these pink. So very, the materials we are using and materials comes in the kit is bugle beads and treasure beads. So treasure beads, they are like delicate beads. They are still in the, still in the shape bead, but they are made by Toho. And um, I love them. I, I, the reason I love them so much because we do use Toho beads a lot. And in the same time, they are like, you know, they match the each other's colors better. Uh, I just really love it. Right, I'm just going to zoom right in. I'm going to grab a thread. So because I'm using pinks, I'm going to use a pink thread. I've got a couple of pinks here. Let me just have a look. Can you see I've got a couple of pinks here? And I think I'm, that matches. So if I look at the treasure, it matches, I guess, that one better. If I look at the... Toho, the, the, the three millimeter bugle, I need a sip of my coffee, and then it matches that one better. So it doesn't really matter which one you use. Overall, I think that will go better with both of them. It just blends in. Right, very quickly, gonna thread a needle and we're gonna get started. The pink is the one on the right of the red. I didn't have a red one in there. Ah, I just looked at the names on the website and I, I I guess Simon called this one grape. 
which is like I would be calling it more as a mauve color. And Simon called this one mauve, which is the pink. I, I need to <laughs> keep an eye on how he's naming all these things. Right, okay, so we're going to start by picking up the following pattern. And I'm going to leave my bobbin on because later on I can come back and by how we're going to start this Russian spiral, you will be able to bead the other way as well. So later on, I will come back and the same way as I did it on this one. So I went and beaded one way, all the way down. Then I added my clasp and then I taken, the bobbin is not on there anymore, but I taken more thread off the bobbin and I can bead this way as well. But there is a specific, specific way how you have to start your beadwork. So what you're going to do, you're going to pick up one treasure, you're going to pick up one bugle, then two treasures, one bugle and two treasures, one bugle. So you got one, one, two, one, two, one. I'm going to take this down and then I'm going to come through all of them. I do not recommend for you to knot your tail end and your working thread together at this point because what can happen, the thread can seep into the knot, the thread can seep into one of the beads and it will stop you by coming through again. So what we are going to do is to have a really nice and strong base. So we went around one time. I'm going to run around the second time. So I don't, I have a nice and firm base. Zoom in a little bit more for you. I have a nice and firm base. And I know my thread won't be able to travel backwards. And I'm going to keep going around. Keep going around. So I'm by my tail end and I'm going to come through that very first bead just one more time. And then we are in position to add further beads, says me, and my thread is getting stangled up. Oh, come on, come on, you thread. What's going on with you? I'm going to untangle it just in a sec. Sometimes your thread can get twisted, and as, a, as you're pulling it, pulling it through your beads, it comes sort of further down and further down. The, the twisted part... So what you need to do is, and I'm just going to quickly come here for you. So what you need to do, you need to hold up your work just like that. I'm hold, I'm going to hold it not by the needle, but just right underneath the needle. And I'm going to take my index finger and thumb and I'm going to pull this down all the way, just like that. Just one again, because I have to smooth it out. And when we get down to the bottom, can you see my work is just twisting around? And that's because my, because it was twisted. And now, because I do this, and I'm going to do this one more time, just to pull it down, just, just smooth it all out, we will be fine. So we are, well, I'm not saying we're going to be fine, but we are less likely to have another knot. Okay, so as I'm coming out of here, now there is a couple of tips I want to give you here. So if you, this is the first time you're doing Russian Spiral, and you you like struggle how to start it i'm just looking and i know they are here because i put them in here yesterday a little crochet hook so what you can do you can use a crochet hook you can use a cocktail stick you can use anything you have in your stash i guess um to put it through i think this one is going to be too big so i need a smaller one oh maybe not maybe it's just going to be a little bit tight I've got a smaller one. I had a couple of smaller ones as well. So you're going to add that in. Oh, there we go. Yes, I got it. This is just a tiny bit smaller. So it will fit better on there. I don't want to force it on there. I just want it sort of comfortable on there. So if you are struggling with what way do you go, or if you're struggling that it's going to flip around, add something in there so add a crochet hook add a well it's a very thin pencil and um, add even even like a um, tweezers will do i could equally add that into the bottom and what is this going to do is just going to keep you straight 
because by, when you start your work, if you are not keeping it keeping it straight and keeping it the right way up, your work can flip around. So if I'm if I'm adding this and I'm gonna add I'm gonna add the net be next beads on. Now I'm holding on to my work. I'm gonna pick up one treasure and I'm gonna pick up one bugle bit here i'm gonna miss what i picked up in reverse so i'm gonna miss a bugle and i'm gonna miss a treasure and i'm gonna go to the second treasure there now if i if my work is in my hands which i i can hold it in my hands and i know i kind of like which one i have to stitch into and which one i need to go through it's fine but if you're this is the first time you're struggling and i'm gonna stitch again and stick in and, and then i'm back and, and going round and round again if you have this in something, can you see that is just going to hold it there and I know which one, you, your work is not going to move because the minute I let this go and it falls onto the table and then you kind of pick it up and perhaps these little loops are moved around from one side to another, you will lose where you were. So a tremendous help is just adding something just until you start just until you do the first few stitches until you get back around yourself so again i'm going to pick up one treasure and one bugle bead i'm going to miss what i picked up in return so i'm going to miss that bugle that treasure go to the next one oops i'm going to hold it on with that finger there we go and I'm going to turn it again. I'm going to pick up another treasure and another bugle bead. And I'm going to miss this bugle. I'm going to miss this treasure. And I need to go to the next treasure, which is going to be the first loop we just added. So even if this is flopped down, like it's flopped down for me, sorry. It's flopped down for me. Let me just move this back over to the middle. Like it's flopped down for me, I'm going to lift this up. And I'm going to go through that treasure bead. Not the bugle, but just the treasure bead itself. And pull it in nice and tight. Now for me, it's more comfortable to hold it like without it. And I would hold on to the, between my index finger and thumb, I would hold on to the bottom. And with, with these spare fingers at the bottom, I'm pulling it down. So I know, like I'm holding on to nice and tight in my hands. So I'm going to pull this tight. And then I'm going to pick up the next treasure and another bugle. All the way, this is what you're going to pick up. Again, I'm going to miss the bugle. I'm going to miss the treasure. And can you see my loop has sunk to the bottom? The one I added in a previous series. So I'm just going to go to this treasure and I'm going to pull it up to the top. So this is where things can go a little bit pear shaped is when you're starting. And again, I'm going to go on and hold it and pull it nice and tight. And from here, I'm just going to keep on repeating what I'm doing. So one treasure, one bugle bead. I'm going to miss the bugle. I'm going to miss that treasure and just go through the second one just like that. If you got any questions, please put a cue in front of your question so we can very easily identify it and I can make sure that I answer it for you. Lucy is gathering all the questions. There we go. And I'm just going to keep doing the same thing. So one treasure, one bugle. I'm going to miss that bugle. I'm going to miss the treasure. And you kind of, once you've done a couple of stitches, it's really... It's kind of like stands out which one you have to go through because if I turn it to the side, can you see I'm missing this bugle, I need to miss this treasure, I need to go through this one, but it's kind of like sort of stands above the one below a little bit so I know that's the one I need to go through. And I'm going to pull this up nice and tight again and carry on. Now I'm going to do a few more stitches so you can see how easily and quicker it comes on for me holding it this way when I'm holding it between my index finger and thumb the my working thread it just easier because when I'm pulling this through what can happen is if you're holding it down well, let me do a few more and then I show it to you um, your thread can 
the nicer tension you keep with this, the better it's going to look. So it's quite crucial not to keep a too tight tension, but to keep, keep an even tension for this bracelet. But very, very easy. And what I love about it, this is the perfect chitter chatter bracelet. You can you can just like sit somewhere or somebody meeting up with friends and just do a little bit of beadwork at a time. I'll just put my phone on silent. There we go. And I'm just going to keep going round and round. I'm picking up the same beads. I'm going through the same beads all the way down. Oh, Charlotte, thank you so much for the stars. It's really, really appreciated. All right, and I'm keep going round. Oh, Gwen, thank you so much for the stars as well. Really, really appreciated. You're spoiling me today, you lot. Right, one treasure, one bugle, going through the next one. And we're going to keep going round and round. One by one. So I got probably like maybe half an inch so far. And you can already see that the, the bugles are kind of like twisting on each other. And the whole bracelet is going to be twisted. It gives you that beautiful twisted look. There we go, and I'm just going to keep going and adding to it. How is this? Was this harder? Was this easier? What you thought? Do let me know in the comments. Have you done this stitch before? Have you made any of the bracelets before? Don't forget the big bundle is like 30% off. It's going to work at like £2.25 per bracelet, which is amazing. And be the big bundle the, like you can mix the colors together so you can use you know the the teal with the gold and or i don't know any colors any ways you want to mix it you can make some unique pieces or you could do some ombre ones as well because you got 10 colors in there right no there's a two um <laughs> you could be just jumped on my needle but only need one there we go. They are Toho treasures, same as Delicas. They are size 11. So Toho, Toho, the, all of these companies, like the seed bead companies, glass bead companies, crystal companies, they all manufacture similar products. So Toho have an amazing range of beads, not just bugle beads or seed beads but they have cubes they have magatamas they have so triangles they have so many different shapes it's one of the most amazing companies out there same as miyuki i guess and um i don't know why we just i, I love toho i love their colors so much so we stock toho and um we do do stock delica beads as well but it just makes sense to start. We only started stocking these treasures not that long ago, maybe a two, three months ago, because it's made sense to start stocking these treasures because we're using the Teho so much. And therefore, the colors, like the, I don't know, the, the same color, this one is 2218, the bugle color. You can have the same color in the treasure as well. So when you're doing all sorts of different patterns, when you're doing all sorts of different projects, you, you can be sure that it's going to be the same color as your seed beads. So if you're doing a bracelet where you used, I don't know, treasures, uh, making X amount of patterns, but you need size 11 for the class, then you, be, you can be sure that they're going to be exactly the same color. Lorna Singh, love this, this is so pretty. Oh, I love it too as well. Lindsay Singh, just ordered back black and tanzanite. Can't wait to give this one a go. Oh, they are so, so busy. Oh, Camille is reminding me. Coffee. Thank you, Camille. You, you keep me all straight. You know, like that's why I was late this morning. I was late this morning because um, I sat down. I, I pulled everything out and I was just about to press 
the go live button and I looked to the side and I forgot to make a coffee and I was like no there's no way I can do the next hour but you know me there's no way I can go through a day without coffee so I thought no very quickly I'm gonna pop and make that coffee so that's why I did I popped out and um to the kitchen and made a coffee quickly to bring bring it in I, I do love iced coffee in the summer and actually it looks like mine's going to be warm today. So I might make a little bat batch up and put it in the fridge so we can have it over the next couple of days. Might do that. What is the difference between treasure and seed beads? So treasure and seed beads, they are a different shape. They both class the seed beads, I guess, because they are very small beads and like... In, in the really, really old um, days, I guess they used to use seeds as beads. And these ones are glass now. And obviously, as the, over the centuries and, you know, jewelry making and the beads came so far and there is so, so much development in them. But the name, I guess, seed beads, because they are small as a seed, is still with them. Now... The seed beads, what we call are seed beads like size 11, size 8, size 6, size 15, well, there's so, size 9, there's, there's so many different sizes. They are more like a round shape. And these, the treasures, the delicates, they are more like a cylinder shape. So they're still small beads, but they, rather than being round on the edges, it's more like a cylinder and they do have larger holes, so it's, I think, a different, more precision, like how they produce it from the seed beads. With the seed beads, like once they, they make like a really long rod, they cut it all up and then they heat them up. So the fire kind of rounds them, rounds the edges. And with this one, it's again, like these... Treasure beads or the delicate beads, they are like if you look at the bugle, if you take a knife and cut the bugle into three equal parts, then we would have a treasure or a delicate bead. And treasures and delicates, they are not seed beads, has been around for a very long time. And delicates and treasures are like I'm saying fairly new, but again, been around for decades, but um, fairly new to the industry. So they're just a different shape of beads. And now they do like faceted and all sorts of different ones. Like some of them, the Charlotte's one, they have got one side of the seed bead is like flat. There's so many different variations that are there. I've got about an inch so far. Anything? I'm wondering about getting this started. I tried once before and failed. I will try the pencil trick. Yes. Try the pencil stick trick because it will really, really help you. I think once you kind of get your head around it, like what the other thing what you can do, if you do get the bundle, just practice a couple of starts with different color bugles. So you would have your base, your base triangle, what you make in one color, and then start picking up different colors. So you know which loop you're going to have to look at from which one you're going to have to go through. And just go practice it two or three times. And once you have practiced it, you can cut it up and start all over again. And well, you're not going to be cutting up more. You're going to be cutting up a few bits, but you can start to make your bracelet just to sort of work out the initial first few what you need to do. Right, I think we are ready for the class. I'm on like normally, I would do this longer, so I would do properly about four or five inches. But I'm I'm not gonna sit here and bore you. <laughs> just me adding the same beads over and again. I added just over an inch there, so I'm gonna go ahead and add the clasp on there and then show you that one how to do that one. Could you use a treasure in POT stitch instead of delicate? And absolutely. So you could use every single pattern what you would got calls for delica. You can replace it with treasure beads. Absolutely. Right, have we got, could you use a longer bugle and seed beads? Yes, you could use a longer bugles and larger seed beads. Like 
I, for me, like I tried this pattern with size 11 seed beads. So we, I, I tried it with um, the still the three millimeter Tahoe's, Tahoe bugle beads, but I tried it with a size 11 seed beads. And um, look at my cat. I think my cat has been on my mat. <laughs> Sydney's been here. I just, I just, I just spotted a couple of um, hairs here. Bless her. So I have tried it with seed beads, but the seed beads are just a tiny bit fatter than the Delica beads, and it didn't sit right. So when you look at this, and I'm going to bring this up nice, up and close. When you look at this, those bugles are set nicely on top of each other and neatly. If you do this with signs that haven't seen beads, you can, your pattern, like, I mean, I can try to pull this apart a little bit, but can you see the gaps if I pull it apart? That, what is it going to look like with it? Now, there's loads of different things you could do. You could add, like, um, it's got a natural stretch in the stitch a little bit, so you could add the beginning and then together. You could make decorations. You could do all sorts of different things with this one. Um, can I ask why you have the thread coil on the end? So that's a very good question, Amelia, and I'm going to answer it just for you. I'm going to come out into the half, come out a little bit. So I always do, and I got this one, which is half started. And what I do, so the bobbin was here on this side. I use my bobbin as a bead stopper, kinda, and I leave the bobbin on because later on I can come back and take more thread off. So when I take in my thread, I beaded all of this, which is, this is about maybe six inches or five, five and a half, six inches. And, and then I was running out of thread. So I added the clasp on and then I'm going to come back to this color. So imagine this, this side I went all the way along and used my thread up. I can come back to the other side, take more thread off my bobbin and continue my beadwork this way. So you just kind of, it stops you adding a new thread. You So you don't need to add a new thread in. You can do the whole bracelet. If you're making a necklace, obviously you're going to have to join a thread somewhere. But if you're making a bracelet, you can do the whole bracelet with one thread and for me, like it's always the thread is the knot on the thread is the weakest point of your thread. So it's just, and it's quicker as well then because you don't need to spend another extra 10, 15 minutes adding a new thread in. Right, so to do the end, we're going to have to reduce the size. So what we want to do here is to make like little triangles going to the top and going into a point. And we're going to sew that point to the clasp itself so i'm gonna i'm not gonna use the bugle beads anymore but i'm gonna use just the treasures so instead of picking up a treasure and a bugle i'm just gonna pick up three treasures and i'm still gonna go through the same bead as i would normally i'm gonna repeat this two more times And go through the next one. And picking up my final three. And I'm going to go through my next beagle. Next, um, delicate treasure bead. We're talking about delicates. So you know me. I miss, mix names up all the time. Uh, Oh, thank you. That's a good idea. We'll just need to keep on cat. What do you mean? Like, you do you have a cat, Angie, and the cat is playing with it or taking away? Or, or do you mean like you don't want to unreal it? Or do let me know. Right, so I added the threes. Now, on my next row, I'm going to add two. So I'm going to pick up two. I'm going to miss three, what I added in the previous row, and go to the next one. But again, you kind of know which one you have to go through because can you see, like the one I have to go through, is, it sticks out a little bit from the others. So when I'm looking it from it up, I can see it perfectly. If I, can you see that it's sticking out? And if you go through one bead less or one bead more, it doesn't really matter. It, it will still form that triangle shape. Again, I'm going to pick up two. I'm going to miss three and go to this one. I'm going to pick up another two. I'm going to miss three and go through this one. And now 
I'll just pull that back. Just get rid of this little my thread just the, the tail wrapped around. So I'm just gonna pull this that now. I've done my twos, I'm gonna be going down to my ones. So I'm just gonna add pick up one. I'm gonna miss two and go to that one. I'm gonna pick up another one miss two and go through the next one come on Taylor. there we go oh and cat yes yeah i got a cat i know exactly what you exactly what you mean right another one and i'm gonna miss two i'm gonna go through the next one now this is the very first one i added on this row and what I'm going to do next, I'm just going to go through the three what I just added, just to sew them together without adding a bead. One, two, and then that's the third one. And we have made our little triangle end. Now, um, as we are, we, <clears throat> excuse me, we're going to add the end. We're going to add the clasp. And then we're going to come back and we can reinforce this a little bit. So as I'm coming out of a seed bead, doesn't matter which one, I'm going to go through the loop on the clasp. I'm going to take this down and then I'm going to come back through the same bead or I can either step along one. It doesn't really matter. I'm going to stitch this loop on the clasp properly about four or five or even six times to every, some, every single one of these beads. So I'm gonna stitch them to, and I'm moving along, I'm gonna stitch to this one. Excuse me. The phone always rings when you don't need it. And then I'm gonna stitch back through the loop. And I'm gonna stitch to another one again. And I'm gonna go back through the loop. And just keep stitching it through. I usually do this until like it's a little bit tighter to go through the beads, or it's or I'm running out of thread. But I'm keep on stitching through. So I don't know how many times. Have you counted how many times I've been through? I've been through quite a few times, I think. So I think it's probably will be fine. Like one last time. So maybe you've been six, seven times. But it's this way it's going to be really, really secure. So once we are happy with the end, and then we're going to come back and we're going to come back on ourselves. So I'm going to start stitching backwards, just following any thread path we created. And I'm just going to go around. So I'm going to go around the twos, just like that. And the last two. Then I'm going to step down and I'm going to go around the threes. I'm just going to go into by the threes. I mean, those are the ones we added first. And I'm going to go through these ones. Just sewing them together. And by that, I'm reinforcing, I'm closing that gap in between them. Just going through the threes. I've got one more to go through and then I'm going to, I like to do one thread knots or they are so called half hitch knots down the way, but I'm going to take my thread back probably about a centimeter, a half an inch, just following any thread path I created. So I'm going to go into my beads. I'm going to go treasure, treasure, and then up the bugle and again treasure treasure up the bugle and that way I'm going to be slowly making my way back on my beadwork. I do like to reinforce this part at the top because this is the one what you tug on the most when you're taking your bracelet off or putting them on. I mean they're magnetic glass but they will come apart but let's face it like how many of you like you're supposed to I'll show you how, what's the, what, I'll show you the proper way. How are you supposed to open and close your magnetic clasp? And then I, and I want you to give me a hashtag me or me in the comments if you do do that. 
because I usually just pull it apart and I know it's naughty but we all do it. So for that reason I like to reinforce this last inch or so because I'm going to grab on this and pull it even though I know I'm not supposed to do it that way but it's just sort of quicker so I'm always reinforcing this last little bit right so once you got down if I got a longer thread left I would might even do an inch just to keep going back on myself sewing these together If I got a shorter thread, then I would, obviously, I would have to knot it off sooner. So to knot your thread off, you're going to do a one thread knot. So I'm going to catch the thread path between two beads. I'm not going to go through any of the beads. I'm just going to catch this thread path here. I'm going to pull this through just like that. Ooh, and before that loop disappears, I pulled it through a bit too much. Before that loop disappears, I'm going to go through this loop again with my needle and when I pull this tight can you see there's a little knot is going to be forming on the top there and then I'm going to go ahead and keep carrying going around and round and round right have you got any questions at all um, you want me to answer I know I have a straight thread Camille I just seen that as well but I'm probably going to take this apart anyway because um yeah I got a straight thread I, I didn't pay well enough attention can you see? So I'm gonna I'm gonna take it back and I just and just added a knot on there. So I'll I'll do it in a minute. And I will saw the ad. Um you've only seen hi from Sunzi, we're high back. This bracelet is so effective, absolutely. I do really, really love I love the look, what it gives you, and we got so many different colours, and I'm just gonna pick up the bundle colours here to show you. And then there is a couple of extra ones, a couple of premium colours. You can add on to the top. So if you buy the bundle and then you add the premium colors on the top, it will be cheaper than like buying them separately. So this this is the bundle. And as I said, what's the beauty of this? That you can mix them up. So each each one of these will make two bracelets. So if you don't want two charcoal bracelets, then you could do um, these charcoal color bugle, for example, with the white or the tanzanite, or you could do it with the gold. And then again, with the pink, you could, which is actually called mauve, and that one's called grape, um, you could swap them out black. So with the teal, I would love to do a gold. With the blue, I would love to do the purple. I think that would look really good. So you can have a lot of different colorways, a lot of different ones. So you make 20 bracelets, but all 20 of them can be different by mixing the colors. Or if you want to do the same ones, then you could do one like that now if you don't want bracelets one um kit one kit will be enough to make a necklace so do you bear that in mind so if you don't want to make 20 bracelets but you say like okay so some of the colors let's say the charcoal i want a necklace length why am i showing it in such a small screen let's just zoom out a little bit so if if you say i I'm going to, the graphite one, I'm going to make a necklace. So you go ahead and make a necklace out of that one. And then, and actually, if you got smaller wrists, then you will get much more out of it. And then say, I'm going to make these ones into bracelets. So then you're going to make them into bracelets and etc. however you want to do it. But one, one kit will make you two bracelets, but it could make you also one necklace and you save a cloth so you can use it elsewhere. But you're going to have loads, loads of and loads of fun with this. No matter how you do it, very easy stitch as, you, as you've seen it. And uh, it's one of, it's my favorite Russian spiral. So they always say, you always remember your first one, but definitely this one is one of my favorite Russian spirals. Russian spirals and I have tried it with six millimeter bugles like larger bugles I have tried it with all sorts of different beads mixing bugles and seed beads with Russian spiral three I tried it with pearls and crystals and I equally love I love Russian spiral two and I love Russian spiral four which was all crystals but um this one is because it's so dainty so the it's about six millimeter i guess in 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 size that um it's a beautiful bracelet it goes very well in a stack um when you want to wear it like with, with other bits other jewelry as well and you can just wear them together so i really do i do love um i, I really really love this i can't say it enough that how much um i enjoy doing these 
Now, before I go off, I need to say a special thank you for Jean because Jean helped me to make up some of these samples. Otherwise, I couldn't have showed you so many this array of colors. Um, I, 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 I'm so thankful to be surrounded by people who like just help out and help out, help us out making samples. So, Jean, thank you so much for this one. Um, really, really appreciate it. Um, helping out and making samples up. Um, Lucy Sink, I've only done the Russian Spiral one. I will have to have a go at the others at some point. Um, like you know, like it's it's depending on what you like doing or what is your. <laughs> it's like what is your James Bond, isn't it? <laughs> That's when they say <laughs> like which one is your James Bond and which one is your Russian Spiral. So I'm sure, ladies, you have done quite a few of them before with me. Um, you all you all prog probably gonna prefer different versions of it, but um. For me, like this is, I really do love this one. Ilni Singh, thank you very much for the tutorial. Another new stitch to try. Yeah, please do try it because they are beautiful. Don't forget on the bundle, we got 30% off. Simon said he will keep the offer until the end of the weekend. You can add extra bits of pieces. So you can add the two premium colors and I'm just gonna get those in here as well. That's the black diamond and the purple because the purple is using, and the black diamond is using a um, perma finish treasure bead so that's your pf colors there and um, that's why that's a little bit more expensive so the beads themselves are a little bit more expensive and they're so beautiful though they, they have got a very different shine on them i guess than to the others if you even if you go for the bundle you can add those in at, at a discounted price to your bundle threads and needles but whatever you need super long size d but I have used for it and what you need. So you might have some of that at home and you just need the beads. But, um, you know, with us, like with our bundles, it's mainly the price of the beads. So you are getting 30% off on the price of the beads. Usually we don't charge for um, instructions and all that. So um, is a really good deal, even if I say so myself. So do, do take advantage of it because these bugles and these deli these like treasure beads same as delica beads you can use them for so many different projects i mean he's saying thank you for the fab trailer thank you so much for watching right so um this week we got a couple of different things i need to tell you about very very quickly and then i'm gonna go so we have got natalie on friday making her beautiful butterflies and then on saturday we got creation station oh look so oh yeah i was gonna show you the right and wrong way to so we all do we just like sort of i i do i'm guilty of this pulling the bracelet apart just like that the correct way to open a um, magnetic bracelet is to slightly twist the clasp because when you're twisting it you create a little bit of friction between the magnets and it's they comes apart really really easy so there's less stress on the bracelet itself so that's the correct way you open a magnetic clasp slightly twist it and then pull but let's uh, let's face it all of us is just like uh, I'm guilty of it as well doing it the wrong way but um, I showed you the right way so you know now so um, Natalie will be on Friday Saturday we're doing creation station and oh there is my mouse so um, I want to quickly very go you because I don't know how many bundles Simon got left so I'm just very quickly going to pop you over to the website because um, on Saturday, what we do, 7 p.m., I'm going to start to do a creation station on Kitty Robinson Designs. And what actually happens then is um, we just design together. So we get this bundle. I'm going to go into creation station here. So this is the August bundle. We got a very beautiful shape crystals. I call them saddle beads because they, and, and you can't get them anywhere else at the moment. So they're going to be. A, a really nice one to have a play around with it so if i pop into july um we had july and then when we recorded the session it's a three hour session you can come back and watch it we did the same in june as well both of the sessions and lessons on there once the month goes past simon is going to put the price up to 30 pounds so at the moment creation station is 20 pounds and you get a tons in there 
that's that's like 35 percent discount for the normal price of the beads crystals and pearls and seed beads you're not gonna be sorry there is august which is we got the mermaid pink and gold in there and then sky we got sort of blues and a hint of purple in there so both of them are beautiful colorways do have a look at it and then if you order it today the the guys send it out pretty much straight away so you can have it before the weekend and then we can sit here and play together so do do have a look at that one right i'm gonna come back here to the screen sharing and i'm gonna go on me that the necklace season you wanted to see the other side so this one is I did a city and guilds years and years and years and years ago, 15 years ago. And this was one of the final pieces, exam pieces, what I made. So this is a Selene spiral and I used Chinese craft seed beads for this. And I had to like grade them one by one because like they were so uneven and you wanted some somewhat a more of an even look. So it took me 50 hours. I had to record this. I had, it took me 50 hours to make this necklace. And I really do love it. This is one of my... It's not a piece what I like. I guess I would wear. But it's something what I want just in a background. And every single time I look at it, it makes me smile. So that's why I, I wanted to add a bit of colour behind me. And that's why I added this one. I love blues anyway. You know, blues are my colours. So they can just... I can just look at it and um and it, it makes me smile oh thank you um susan is saying that's amazing but um it, it was it just it was a uh, um i really enjoyed making it because the more it grows the more it's like it's a beautiful it's a beautiful um beautiful spiral beautiful stitch um thank you i will try it kelly saying um so do check out the website um can you repost it? I think it's got lost. Um, I don't know, Susan, what you mean about reposting, but I will have a look. Lovely Kitty made these last week and they were admired. Great tutorial. Thank you. You are very welcome, lovely. Thank you. Thank you again. Right. Okay. So, Natalie on Friday, Creation Station on Saturday at 7 p.m. I will pop up a little video for, for you to catch the link. So, I'll see you then. Everybody have a beautiful week. Um, no matter what you do, the sun is shining, so I'm gonna I'm gonna need to pop up to the high street and probably do some beading in a garden today. Have a beautiful week, and I will see you in Saturday night. Bye. I will be in the comments on Friday, but I'll I'll see you on Saturday night.